Hi, I'm Hannah from Atlanta. And before I tell you a story you'll never forget, please like and subscribe. I lived in a mansion with my single mom who ran a successful makeup chain. Mom was really particular and a total neat freak, but I was her total opposite, an absolute <laughs> mess. <laughs> Hannah, fix your hair, you look like a troll, and wipe that mud off your face. Since mom started a career as a supermodel, she wanted me to follow in her footsteps. So when I turned 11, she got me into a huge fashion show, but I took one step on the runway and fell on my butt. Sorry. Mom tried her best to tame me, but I showed no sign of improvement. It was just the way I was. The only person who accepted that was my bestie, Violet. Her mom worked for us, and sometimes Violet would tag along to help her mom out. Not only was Violet super funny and a great cook, she was a low-key genius and would help me study all the time. Why am I not getting this? Am I stupid? No, you're not. You're just looking at it the wrong way. She was the reason I didn't fail my middle school, and everyone adored her, especially Mom. She often said that Violet was beautiful and reminded her of herself when she was younger. Mom liked Violet so much that she even invited her to join us on a trip to France. We were having so much fun, till this woman walked up to us and said to Mom, Oh, wow, your daughter is so, so beautiful, like a fresh daisy. Excuse me, I'm her daughter. Uh, really? Well, I'm sure you have an amazing personality. I wanted to kick that woman's French butt. It's not that I didn't like her complimenting Violet, but it made me jealous that mom didn't even correct her. And after that day, I just didn't like it when mom paid Violet any attention. One afternoon, I came home from tennis practice and found Violet and mom raiding my closet. What's going on? I'm giving Violet some of your old clothes. Doesn't she look fabulous? The way they were laughing and prancing around without me, it made my blood boil. I snatched a skirt out of Violet's hand, then started shouting at mom. That's my stuff. You can't just give it away. I, I'm so sorry. I'll leave. You can be so selfish. Violet and her mother are dirt poor. She could use these clothes. You were never going to wear them again anyway. I don't care. Next time, ask me before you give my things away like that. I ran to my room and shut the door. But after a while, I realized that mom was right. I was being selfish. So I packed a few boxes full of clothes that I knew Violet would like and went to her house. I'm really sorry about the way I acted. Here, you can have them all and more. Will you forgive me? Of course I forgive you. You're my best friend, silly. Over the years, Violet and I grew closer, and I even convinced Mom to pay Violet's tuition so we could go to the same school. On her first day, I introduced Violet to my friends, but they just laughed in her face. Oh my god, who did her hair, a blind woman? Ew, look at that skirt, it stinks. At least it's better than your stinky mouth. Now if you don't mind, we have a class to get to. You didn't have to do that, they're your friends. Yeah, but you're my best friend. There's a difference, and it's called having each other's back. Even though Violet had a trashy first day, over time, her sunny personality won over all my friends. Not to mention, she was great at everything. Violet tried for the cheer squad, and they made her captain. She baked cookies for the whole class one time, and the kids couldn't stop praising her. She was voted most beautiful, most likely to succeed, and had the highest grades in school. Violet even ran for class president and won by a landslide. I've never met a girl like Violet before. She's the best. Can you ask her to come to my slumber party? Why? Isn't that only for close friends? Yeah, and she's one of us now. You should be happy. Only I wasn't. I loved Violet, but I couldn't help feeling jealous of how perfect she was. And then one day, while I was having milkshakes with her at the mall, someone spooked me half to death. Hey, Hannah Banana. It was Paul. He was the son of one of mom's investors and my childhood crush. Are you trying to give me a heart attack? And look at that, you ruined my shirt. Oh, let me fix that for you. Violet quickly grabbed a can of club soda and dabbed at the stain. Within seconds, my shirt was all clean. Wow, that was brilliant. I'm Paul. She's Violet and we're late. Hey, wait, if you guys are free this weekend, would you want to come for a science exhibition? Science on a Saturday? How boring. I'd rather stick a needle in my eye. You're such a nerd, Paul. I'd love to come. Great, I'll text you the address. As Violet and Paul exchanged numbers, I just stood there in shock. Paul had never been this friendly to me, and I'd known him for years. I'd even asked him out once, but he said I was too young and he just wanted to be friends. But that weekend, after Violet came back from the exhibition, she told me that Paul had asked her out. What? That's not possible. He never dates girls younger than him. What did you do? 
Nothing. We just have a lot in common and talked about science stuff. I was so shocked at what Violet told me that I couldn't stop myself from running over to Paul's house. You said you don't date girls my age. Violet is three months younger than me. I know I said that, but honestly, I was just politely rejecting you. We have nothing in common, and with Violet, I feel complete. She's special, and I think I'm in love. You met her yesterday, you idiot! I wanted to punch Paul in the face, but I settled for kicking dirt and walking back home. It took me a while, but I somehow made peace with Paul and Violet dating. But slowly, Violet and I started drifting apart. She had no time for me and was always busy hanging out with Paul. You want to hang out tonight? I can't. I have a date with Paul. What about tomorrow? Cheerleading practice. Maybe we can squeeze something in next week? And the next week, she made another excuse and I was left alone. Again, I turned to my friends for comfort, but they didn't want to hang out either. Not without Violet. I was furious at how quickly Violet had taken over my entire life. My friends, the boy I liked, everything. I was so mad I could scream. So I did. At my driver for driving too slow. At the gardener for cutting the grass too short. I even shouted at the teacher in class. Who the heck cares about an isosceles triangle? It's just a stupid triangle. I went straight to detention after that. I took a seat at the back when this girl spoke to me. You're Violet's bestie, right? I have a name. It's Hannah. Whoa, snappy. I was just saying that your best friend sucks. I hate her. My ears shot up listening to that. This girl was the first person I'd met who hated Violet ever since she joined the school. We got talking, and soon I started hanging out with a new crowd. They liked to ditch school, cheat on tests, and sneak out late on school nights. But the best thing about them was that none of them was in love with Violet. After a long time, I was finally having a little bit of fun. But as always, Violet had to poop on my parade. You missed class. We had a really big quiz. I don't care. Well, you should because you'll fail your classes if you don't show up for the test. Why are you acting like you care? You've been ignoring me for the longest time now. So ignore a little more and stay away. Suddenly, Violet stepped forward and took my hand. I'm sorry I haven't been around much. Maybe we can hang out tomorrow. Paul and I are going to the museum. Maybe you could join us? Maybe you shouldn't be such a big nerd and mind your own business. Violet didn't bother me after that, and I didn't mind either. I had a new set of friends, and I was happy. Then a week later, the school announced the annual parent-teacher meeting, and it was a disaster. My grades were at an all-time low, and Mom was furious. But I wasn't the only one suffering. Everyone had low grades in my group, and some of them were even failing. Oh, I hate those stupid teachers. They think they can rule our lives with their dumb homework and grades. My dad grounded me for a month for failing a boring class. He took away my Mercedes. What am I supposed to do? Walk everywhere? Yeah, teachers suck. I wish we could teach them a lesson. Maybe we could. How? We can ruin their stupid teacher's lounge. We snuck into the school late the next evening, and we trashed the teacher's lounge. We spray painted the walls, broke the microwave and the TV, and we stuffed fish into the vents. We rushed out of there and ran straight into Violet. Hannah, what are you doing? I could ask you the same thing. I was studying at the library. What? Just then, we spotted Mr. Stilson, the janitor, and I rushed past Violet without saying a word. And the next morning, I was sweating bricks when my friends approached me. What are you going to do about Violet? What do you mean? The principal is investigating the matter of the teacher's lounge, and if she says anything, we're dead meat. She won't say anything. She loves me too much. Okay, yeah, that explains why she went behind your back and stole the guy you liked. Are you really that dumb? We could get expelled. I didn't want to think about it, but my friend was right. We could get expelled, and someone had to take the fall. So I made a decision, and later that day, I walked up to the principal's office. But to my surprise, Violet, my new friends, and the janitor, Mr. Stilson, were all there. Mr. Stilson just told me how he saw you and your friends in the hallway after the teacher's lounge was vandalized. I don't know what Mr. Stilson said to you, but my friends and I were there to study. In fact, I saw Violet come out of the teacher's lounge. What? She was the one who vandalized the teacher's lounge. I even saw her putting some of the paint cans in her locker. You can check if you don't believe me. The principal checked Violet's locker and found two cans of spray paint that I'd hidden there. Violet was expelled immediately, and after that day, she just never came to my place with her mom. I didn't expect her to. What I'd done was horrible. A few days later, I finally built up enough courage to apologize. How could you do this to me? I'm sorry, but I had no choice. I would have been expelled. It would have gone on my permanent record. I couldn't let that happen. I'm supposed to take over my mom's company one day. But I lost everything. Not really. 
You didn't have much to begin with, and honestly, you weren't even supposed to be at that school. You land on your feet. You don't need a college degree to be a maid. Violet slapped me, then slammed the door in my face. The next morning, her mother quit, and they left. I tried to reach out to Violet, but she ignored my calls. Couldn't blame her. I hated myself for the things I'd said. Things weren't the same after Violet left. My new friends ditched me soon, and all the other kids resented me for getting Violet kicked out of school. When I went off to college, I tried to make new friends, but they were either really shallow or just wanted to use me for my money. I felt so lonely, so I focused all of my attention on my job at my mom's company. But on the day of my my mom's retirement party. She called me into her office. I've decided not to name you CEO of my company. What? But I've been working so hard. You promised that I would take over once you retired. I did, and I appreciate your hard work too. But this business is all about making relationships, and you're not good at that. I'm not? You have to give me a chance. Honey, there are no second chances in business, and you're really not cut out for it. And now she was telling me that? After all the time I wasted in making mom happy? I felt betrayed and lost. And now, I know how it feels when someone you trust stabs you in the back. This is exactly what I did to Violet, and if I had to start over in life, it had to be by apologizing to her. I looked Violet up online and learned that she had married Paul and moved to California to become a celebrity chef. She owned one of the most popular restaurants in Hollywood. I paid a fortune to rent out the restaurant for an entire night and ordered Violet's most famous dish. After I was done, I made a special request to thank the chef. When Violet came out, I took one look at her and started crying. Hannah, is that you? Violet, I know you probably hate me, and you should, but I have to say this. Your friendship was the most valuable thing I had, and I threw it away. Please, please forgive me. I wish I could turn back time, but I can't. Hey, listen, I'm not holding on to any grudges. Whatever happened is in the past now. I was really angry for a while, but I've moved on, and so should you. With that, Violet hugged me, and I felt like a piece of my heart had returned. She took me home and made me meet her young daughter, and on that day, I vowed to be better. A better friend, a better person, a better version of me.